dearly beloved in the lord jesus christ one christian organization had conducted an examination based on bible and spirituality for all the denominations including the catholics in the exam they have 100 single answer questions if anyone answers all the 100 answers i mean questions correctly 1 lakh prize would be guaranteed for them all the protestant denominations they participated in that exam in general the feeling among many christian protestants is that they know bible very well and as usual you know catholics do not know much about bible they don't know much about scriptures so from the parishes no one came forward to write uh, the exam that was conducted finally at the end there was one catholic woman who came forward to write the exam the exam was conducted it went for about say one and a half hour and after the exam there was a break and during the break the papers the answer sheets were corrected and after the break there was prize distribution many candidates of the denominations were very confident that they would get 100 out of 100 in the exam that they have attended to and during the prize distribution the examiner started reading the names many of the denomination candidates they secured 99 out of 100 they secured 99 out of 100 but no one got 100 out of 100 but at the end after distributing all the papers and reading out the names there was one paper left and the examiner took that paper and he raised that paper and he said here is the winner who got 100 out of 100 and the name read like this mary regina 100 out of 100 and all those people who were there those denomination brothers and sisters who were there they were trying to figure out who this mary regina is and they were searching and when the examiner called this woman mary regina please come forward then only they noticed that this mary regina is a catholic she was sitting somewhere behind she came forward and the candidates who got 99 marks they came to the examiner and they were asking what is that question which only mary regina could answer and we cannot what is that question and the examiner examiner said the question is how do you know jesus that's the question and many of you wrote wrong wrong answers for it but mary regina wrote the right answer for it with a biblical reference and all who were present there the denomination brothers were shocked you know why they were discussing how come a catholic knows bible better than us that was their point of discussion and they asked the examiner please show us what is the answer that she has written with the reference and the examiner showed the paper to them and it was written i know jesus in the breaking of the bread with reference today's gospel luke chapter 24 verse 35 they knew him in the breaking of the bread and 1 lakh check was given to mary regina and the examiner himself asked mary how did you write uh, the answer so correctly for this particular question and she said sir i am a catholic and in our catholic church we have mass every day every day we have 
the breaking of the bread i participate in the body and blood of christ and it is there i recognize my lord and when she said that answer all those who were present around they started clapping for her and this is the greatness of daily mass in the catholic church in today's gospel two disciples were talking with the jesus they knew the sacred text very well they knew all that had taken place in jerusalem and they were speaking about jesus but they did not know the third person who joined them was jesus because their eyes were kept from seeing or recognizing jesus as he is so the imaus disciples they got 99% only when jesus broke the bread at home their eyes were opened they were able to recognize their savior and then they became full they got 100% in their life all the candidates in the example that i have given they got 99 marks and for the question how do you know jesus they have written different answers like reading the bible through prayer listening the word of god attending retreats meetings and so on they all secured 99 because they did not have a personal encounter with the law with the answers that they gave they are not going to grow in a personal relationship with the lord it is only in the breaking of the bread when you participate in the body and blood of the lord do you have a personal relationship with jesus many catholics are living around this parish vicinity near to the church but how many of them know jesus in a personal way how many of them have personal encounter and how often do they come to meet jesus be it in the holy eucharist or in their visits to the blessed sacrament what is your relationship with jesus st alphonsus ligori says so many people are worried about going to jerusalem and bethlehem in order to collect some mud in remembrance of jesus is presence there but when his very presence is just next to their home they do not bother about it how true are these words when jesus himself is present in every mass he is ready to share his life with us through his body and blood how many of us make efforts to come and participate in mass we go here and there knowing that some revelation and take, has taken place in certain place to go and touch a stone go and sit in one church but how often do we come to recognize jesus's presence fully and completely in the holy mass do we receive him daily or have we taken him granted in our lives breaking of the bread happens twice every day in our catholic church the other day somebody was saying sir the only church that is open from morning till evening is the catholic church all other churches are closed because they don't have worship except on some particular days but in the catholic church there is worship every day and in our church we have it twice morning and evening but very few come for mass very few would like to participate in the breaking of the bread and these days it has become somewhat trendy that's what i feel some people very conveniently say father i am not coming for sunday mass without any remorse just like that i'm not coming for sunday mass six days seven days we are working no father sunday is a day of rest i sleep off at home i go to my friend's place i want to enjoy my life but sunday mass is an obligation why did the church keep sunday mass as an obligation because a christian's life is on the eighth day on the eighth day god is calling you to perfection eternity through the resurrection of jesus christ we all come to know 
that the good that I have to receive for my body is not in this perishable world. It's not in those seven days, but it is on the eighth day. And by the very fact that you are saying, I am not coming for Sunday Mass, you are saying, Jesus, what merit you won for us, I don't want. I am happy with my life here. I want to rejoice in this perishable world. That is what you are declaring. Because every Mass, every Sunday is a day of resurrection. And Jesus said, if you eat my flesh and drink my blood, I will raise you up on the last day. That's what we say in the creed. I believe in the resurrection of the body. If you want to have eternal life in this body, then you have to frequent Mass. Mass cannot become optional. Holy Mass cannot become optional in a Catholic's life. Straight road to heaven. Anybody who wishes to go to heaven must necessarily participate in the body and blood of Christ. Otherwise, you will not be getting that power to say no to certain things in this world. It's very sad to see churches not being full on other days except for feast days and Tuesdays. Why it is so? Because very many people think value of the mass increases because there is some special celebrant. This is a wrong idea. Value of the mass does not increase or decrease because of the celebrant. Principal celebrant is Jesus Christ. Remember this. Because somebody is coming from somewhere, Kerala, Bangladesh or USA, value of the mass doesn't change. Value of the mass is infinite. Don't limit your life to special days, special occasion. Let us not become seasonal Catholics. Maybe on those feast days, on those occasions, Novena days, what would change is flower decoration, maybe one red carpet will be put, okay? Some changes you will find, decoration in the church, but not the mass. Value of the mass remains the same because Jesus Christ is the same. And it is he who instituted the holy mass. Eat my flesh and drink my blood. Do this in memory of me and I will give you eternal life. But very many Catholics would want to limit them to 99%. They want to remain there. But if you want to go to heaven, you need to become 100%. 99% is not allowed. 99% is 1% short of 100. Please remember this. God wants perfection from us. If you want to become perfect, grow in perfection. You have to come and receive the body and blood of Christ because your flesh and blood will fail. If your flesh and blood should receive strength, you have to be united to Christ the Son. His human nature in the mass, it is only here that we connect. That's why the Son of God instituted only the Holy Eucharist as the worship. No other worship whatsoever. That's why, dear Catholics, think seriously about daily mass and you will recognize Jesus and you will come to know him personally and you will grow in your relationship with him every time you participate in the breaking of the bread. And in the Holy Mass, we are nourished spiritually to the Word of God and we share in the life of Christ in Holy Communion to go forth and bear witness to Him by our lives, by our actions and our words. Therefore, all prayers, all devotion, all practices, all seminars, all retreat, all prayer meeting should lead us to the Eucharist. Whatever it may be, how pious that practice may be, but it should lead you to the Eucharist because Eucharist is the worship instituted by the Son. Together with the Son, you join Him in praising the Father in the Spirit. No other place this takes place. That's why the Holy Eucharist is very, very important. Central source and summit of Christian life. Jesus said to a young man, if you wish to be complete, there is still one thing that you are clinging on to. Go sell all the possessions that you have. Come and follow me. Jesus wants perfection. He is not happy with what you do about excluding the Holy Mass. 
99 percent you may be but you are one short of 100 you may not enter the kingdom of god and secondly in the episode of the lost sheep jesus left the 99 went in search of the one in order to bring back the one into the fold 100 100 means perfection he wants you and all of us the community to be perfect so if your faith secures 99 marks you will fail without coming for daily mass if you go on doing all other spiritual practices your marks will be 99 if you want to secure 100 come for mass daily your eyes will be open your eyes will be open meaning the vision with which you see is not your human vision but you will be inspired you will know the work of the lord every day in your life how the lord is operating your life and where he is leading you to mass is not there for temporal gains in this world mass is there to lead you to eternal life so jesus will teach you how to use your body in obedience to his commandments if you frequent holy mass and you will become complete my friends please strive to be 100 percent in your life jesus is telling us all there is one thing that you lack what is that one thing what is that which is keeping us away from this celebration the holy eucharist remove that come with joy participate in the holy mass and encounter the lord personally and grow in him recognize jesus in the breaking of the bread every day and you will know jesus only through the eucharist